a veteran of a past Republican administration, now heads the U.S. Grains Council and learns to navigate the Trump administration, especially when it comes to trade. Here's more. Well, uh, you know, from us, from the U.S. Grains Council's point of view, we're responsible for developing those markets overseas. And when your number one customer in Mexico starts sending signals that they're mad, they're unhappy, uh, they're saying they're, they're, they're frosty in relationships that we've grown over decades, you know, that gets your attention pretty doggone quickly. I've got to say, I've, I've seen trade delegations visit Nebraska numerous times, but to have them be here with the governor, I mean, that sends a pretty clear signal here, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. And that's such an important thing that we wanted to, to accomplish during this trip to Nebraska because when we, I was in Nebraska a little while ago, you know, they, the Mexican users were asking us, who's going to advocate for us? Who's going to advocate for Mexico and agriculture, Mexicans' agricultural interests as part of NAFTA? Well, they got a very clear signal from that uh, just on one day already. You know, certainly, uh, I'm sure you would like it if, if growers out there through the various organizations they're involved in and, e and even just calling their congressman or their senator would, would continue to, to keep that pressure on, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's important for them to advocate for their interests, and their interest is in maintaining their number one market. You know, do no harm to that number one market. The administration has been very responsive on that point. I think if, if farmers and, and producers and agribusiness folks, you know, send that message in, let's make sure we do no harm to the, to the Mexican uh, trade interests that we have. You know, we, ha we do have uh, Secretary Purdue in office now. He has also talked about uh, filling that trade role. We've also got the USTR. Uh, do you see some positives within the administration that hopefully should advance the efforts of trade? Well, it's been real important to have advocates for agriculture sitting at you know, top level of the economic discussions and trade discussions in Washington. Secretary Purdue made it a, a difference almost immediately. Uh, Ambassador Lighthizer, we, we, we know that he's going to be looking at the, the full picture of trade and, and take agriculture's interest into, into account. You know, we've got a president who talks about a trade deficit and these kinds of things. Well, gosh, if you want to even out the balance of trade, American agriculture seems to be a, a place where you can certainly see some positive gains. Yeah, agriculture has always been a trade winner for the United States. And all around the world, it's been a trade winner, and particularly in Mexico. So we want to make sure we build on that success in Mexico, but all around the world, too. Because, you know, we need to open markets, when, especially when we look at commodity prices as they are. Anything we can do that's going to add value to that crop that we grow uh, and do an awful good job of here, that, that's, 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 that's critical, right? It's critical. Not, you know, my favorite fact of the day is 97% of uh, the population growth over the next 35 years is going to happen outside the borders of the United States. If we don't have good access, market access, good trade agreements that give us market access, uh, we're going to be losing out on a tremendous opportunity for U.S. agriculture. As the school year ends, we've met some great FFA kids along the way. We'll highlight some later. Weather is up next.